Okay, yeah. Well, I know just, just a few hours ago in the Brown Steelers recap video, I said there wouldn't be any Browns videos for a while, but I forgot they were going to be doing their almost annual now firing of the coach. The GM gets it this time as well. 10 and 22 over two years for Coach Patton. Unbelievable. Not that it was totally his fault, but he did. Uh, he had to go by the end of this year. I mean, it was just a complete mess all year long. There was no signs of improvement. You know, the first five or six weeks going back to last year with him as coach, it did look like they were improving, but then it's just went all downhill since then. Starting at quarterback, you know, I don't know what's worse, never knowing, never having a coach or never having a quarterback. You know, it started, I guess, after Romeo Cornell. Just never have been able to get on track since then. <sighs> Mangini, Chizinski, Shermer, now Patton. At least he lasted two years. Five coaches now, I think, in about, what, seven, eight years? It's unbelievable. They're probably still paying a couple of the other coaches that they fired two years into their deal. Chizinski only lasted one year. So who knows, of course, obviously, they'll probably be calling Chip Kelly. That'll be the hot rumor. You know, they got to, by NFL rules, they'll have to interview a minority first. Maybe they can, I don't know. I don't know who the minority candidate is out there right now. Deuce Staley, I heard, as a possible coaching candidate in Philadelphia. There's a guy over there in Chicago, one of their coordinators. I don't even know. Who cares about Chip Kelly? I wasn't that impressed with Chip Kelly. Why is everybody all Chip Kelly, Chip Kelly? What the fuck Chip Kelly do? Besides so turn the Eagles into losers. Maybe we can, uh, who knows, you know. It, uh, it's just life as a Browns fan. It's ridiculous. You know, I guess. What's the thought process if you're running, Cle if you're running this organization? Who is running this organization? I keep firing everybody every fucking year. Guess it's the owner. So, I mean, what's the what's the point, I guess? Just strike lightning in a bottle, get a new coach in there, or just basically just admitting, sorry, I know two years ago we started over, but we're starting all over again. Quarterbacks in the draft this year. You know, as a Buckeyes fan, perhaps it would be nice to land Joey Boza and Cardale Jones, and then that'd be the future of the Cleveland Browns somehow, some way. Hey, it's a start. I don't know. So what, I mean, what is it? Is that is that the process, I guess? You just have to fire your coach when you suck? I mean, I get it. It didn't look like, you know, I guess it's the lack of improvement the thing. Every now and then, you know, you'll see coaches go through two or three losing years and not get hacked. But in Cleveland, man, the losing just piles up. Stadiums empty by the end of each season. It's just, ugh, it's just horrible. They basically haven't been good since Belichick was there. And you know how that ended. So I guess you could go back to Schottenheimer. He left there as a winning coach. So, babe, we're talking 80s here. And that's when it pretty much began for me, you know. Thinking, oh, yeah, all right, man. Live here in Ohio, got the Browns, you know. Hey, why not? It was always on TV. Kind of became a Browns fan, you know. It wasn't, it wasn't because I was a front runner. Hell, the Bengals were going to Super Bowls around that time. Eh, who cares? I guess it'll be all the better when we finally win. They'll bring in the miracle coach. They'll land the quarterback in the draft, and it'll all be great. Whatever. At least I got the Buckeyes. I've tried multiple times just to be like, ah, screw the Browns. I'm no longer a fan. I don't know. Ah, that's it. You get, you get the point. The Browns fired their coach and GM, and they're probably going to suck again for two or three years. Much longer than that, most likely. As I say, boom, out of here. That's what Haslam just said to Petten. Patine, Pettyine, whatever the fuck his name is. Shaved head and a mustache. Pretty good luck for your final game there, coach. Nah, it wasn't his fault. It wasn't totally his fault, man. I don't know why I'm slamming on him here. Now they're talking about Joe Thomas wants traded. I don't blame you, big man. I want to get out of there, too. Where are you going to go, Green Bay? I'm going to go up there and hunt and fish. I'm Joe Thomas.